Welcome back to the shed today guys, we've got another review yet again. Um, today we're reviewing the Lumberjack DP13 580B drill press. Uh, just before we jump into the review, I want to address, uh, this isn't sponsored. I paid uh, £97 for this drill. Uh, I'll leave links down below obviously, um, but this is an honest review. I, I wasn't paid, if, even if I was it would be honest, but just to clarify, this is mine no sponsorship or whatsoever so we'll jump right into it and just uh, go through the key aspects as a 13 mil key chuck uh, that is up here so you just undo the key and you can pull your bit out so it can take any bit up to 13 millimeters once you reach that it won't actually fit and the, the key only goes so far uh, this key is included there you go, with the drill, which was nice of them, so pretty standard. The chuck can actually travel 50 millimeters or two inches with the drill bit in it. So, obviously, the drill bit is an extended length on top of that, but it can travel a total of two inches or 50 millimeters. Now, there is this depth stop on it, so as you can see right now, I've got it to go the full two inches, but if you just twist these nuts down it actually provides a stop so if you don't want to drill further than one and a half inches you can stop it like that so it actually has a, a small table but perfectly sized for this drill it's 16 centimeters by 16 centimeters and it actually is done by this little twister here and you can just slide it up and down as you please and obviously that brings it further and closer from the uh, chuck itself. So it, this is a five speed drill. So if you just undo this little screw here, probably a bit overkill the drill there. You can flip up the top and here you have your pulleys and your drive belt. So there's an indication for what speeds there are here. And you just have to loosen it up change over, tighten it back up and close the lid again. Pretty simple. So the drill has uh, an overall height of uh, 58 centimetres ish. It's probably about 58 and a half. Um, and obviously that's important because this is a hobby one. But if you're in a shed like me um, and you, you want it up on the bench, you've got to consider your ceiling height. So just take that into consideration. Uh, you can get floor standing ones but they're obviously um, a lot more expensive and if, if you're not using the capacity for it, you don't really need it, so just bear that in mind. I'm not entirely sure how you're going to be able to see this, and this might be a bit shaky because I'm doing it by hand, but this strip here actually allows you to tilt the table, and I'll go under the table in a second, uh, but it allows you to tilt the table to various angles and it has them noted on. So I'm now under the table uh, doing this freehand, that is the, if it focuses, the bolt you have to loosen to get the table to turn. Let's see if I can get a better shot. So in terms of tilting the table, um, I really wouldn't. It's very sort of over the top. It would have been nice to have a sort of quick release on it or, or something like that. Um, it is a bit of hassle. Um, once you get it sort of level, you don't really want to touch it. Um, Obviously, if you need to drill at certain angles, you're going to, but personally, I think it's not the greatest system. Um, I don't have another drill press to compare it to, so, but just based on having to do it once, um, it's not as easy as, as it should be, probably. But obviously, this is a hobby machine, so there's only so far they can go with it. So I've got the drill set up just with a random 4mm drill bit in it. And I've got, just got a scrap piece of timber and I just wanted to show you the drill working sort of in operation. Gives you an idea of the noise and the vibrations.
Really clean holes, really clean holes. So drilling out that piece of timber, uh, you probably can't really hear it the same, but there is not much noise at all. And um, I've got this just freely sitting on the bench and you can probably hear the shed shaking when I just tap the bench a little bit. This makes pretty much no vibration whatsoever. So I will probably build a stand for it, but it is perfect just on the bench. I've only got it on a medium speed, but I doubt there'd be much more vibration on a high speed. Um, overall, the drill went together really easy. Um, you just have to bolt in this pillar here, put your table on, which just slides over the top, and then this unit is all one thing, basically. The only bits you have to assemble are the handles and this chuck. So you just plop that on there, tighten the little uh, grub screws to stop it going places, uh, tighten the handles on and put the chuck in and then you're, you're ready to go really um, which I was quite surprised with um, so don't don't be afraid of having to put it together obviously that can be a bit daunting for some people but it is super simple I barely looked at the instructions in all honesty so it's, it's that simple I did go over them you should always to look at the safety stuff but it is that simple that pretty much anyone can figure it out so as you might be able to see this big red bit, you might be wondering what that is. And that's actually for this safety guard to go on it. Now you should have your safety guard installed if you do buy a drill press, just to keep your hands, you know, clear. But mine came, I don't know if you, how well you can see that, but it was completely uh, smashed. And I have two other plastic bits here that were supposed to go together, uh, but it actually came smashed in the box. And I called up their customer service team uh, pretty much the same day and they were great uh, they just took my address um, what machine it was and sent it off straight away so hopefully that will be coming in the post but you know great marks for the quick turnaround on customer service so I want to keep it short and now jump to my final sort of feeling about this um, you know it's not it's not the greatest quality drill I only paid a hundred pounds for it um, I believe it's only £69 on their website, but I just bought it for Amazon um, to get it next day. But uh, overall, oh, I'm really happy with it actually, to be fair. Um, I would recommend this to any sort of hobbyist. I wouldn't use this for, you know, industrial work or any, anything like that. Um, if you're doing it constantly, I'd probably buy a more expensive drill. Uh, Lumberjack actually have I think it's four other drills, so they have variable speeds and 12 speed drills, um, which is really good. But just as a hobbyist drill, if you're looking for a cheap pillar drill, this is a great price range at you know 60, uh, 70 to 90 pound. Um, you know, I looked at ones in Wixies that were 40 quid or so, and uh, they just they're not they're not right to be honest with you. They're uh, very very low quality and looking at some of them they look like they could you know fall to pieces on your bench but for lumberjack um yeah i'm really happy with it i would definitely uh, go there again uh, this is the first tool i've bought with theirs but as far as customer service uh, product quality uh, this has been perfect so far so you know hopefully that safety guard comes because i will want to install that um but just as the drill is now, it's 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 superb. Uh, can't really fault it in in many places. So I'll leave a link down in the description, and if you want to pick one up, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching this video.